Hi, I'm Jennifer Janish, owner of Adored Salon and Adored Signature Hand Tied Hair Extensions. I'm obsessed with curly hair. I cut it, style it, and extend it, and this podcast is all about my curly girl obsessions that stretch far beyond just curly hair. Hey there, it's me, Jennifer Johnson Janish. Uh, That's what I'm known as on Instagram, Facebook, and I'm also the owner of Adored Salon, Adored Signature Hair, and this is my podcast, The Curly Girl's Obsessions. I like to talk about all things that relate to the things that I love, and today, one of those things is going to be why I started with hair extensions in the salon world. And if I've talked about this in other podcasts, it's not going to have been as deep of a dive into the reasons why and the potential that's behind hair extensions for any hairstylist, new or seasoned and experienced, because the opportunity door is always waiting to be opened. So when I started doing hair extensions, it was because I had four kids at home and I wanted to pick up an extra day in the salon. I wanted to do something that wasn't going to step on any toes of my peers. And it was hair extensions. Nobody else in that salon was doing hair extensions. So I was like, hmm, let's give it a whirl. And that was at the time when feathered hair extensions were really a big deal. Like we were putting them in all the time. The Everybody was coming in asking for them. And I was like, okay, um, we're charging for a strand anywhere from $15 to $20 for this. What is the hair extension actual business like? And little did I know then what kind of doors just going into this area of hair would open up for me because it was pretty huge. In the beginning, like I said, I worked an extra day a week and I started doing installs. It took a while for it to kick off because that was, gosh, um, the early 2000s. And it was not like mainstream like it is now today. People wear their hair extensions like they carry a Louis Vuitton bag. And then it was like the big hush hush secret. I always say that Jersey Shore, when that came onto MTV, it was like, it was the light that opened up the door for acceptance for hair extensions for us. So with that being said, I worked the extra day a week at the salon and I would do um, a lot of practice in the upfront. I also created flyers that I took to plastic surgeon offices, med spas, anything that was like a higher level beauty industry thing that I thought would attract the kind of clients that would want to wear hair extensions and be able to pay for them. And so lo and behold, It took about nine months after I took my first certification to actually get a client for hair extensions, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Like that is a long time to be doing models and free hair extensions in order to get some clients. But once I got some clients, it was endless. And I know that in today's world, it's not like that. You're not waiting around forever for those clients because they're actually looking for you Um, as they were then, but there just wasn't as many. And so through this research that I've been doing, because I've been really wanting to showcase like why our education that I created is important to you as a hairstylist to create a niche or a service that's going to yield a high rate of return um, like it did for me. So I started diving into the numbers of my own salon and the extension line to try and understand trends and opportunities of where things were. And so there's a post that I created on Instagram after I did all this research because I couldn't let it go undocumented. And it's like, it's the front page says, um, 
what can you do with 10,000? How do you turn $10,000 of free money into 80,000 service dollars? Okay, that's a pretty like catchy, it might have even been catchier than that, but that's just off the top of my head. A pretty catchy tagline, $10,000 free money into $80,000 worth of hair extensions. All right, so listen in on this secret. Um, so $10,000 is where I started with the thought process of what the client spends on their hair and what that yields, right? So $10,000 is 13 clients worth of hair extensions, give or take a little bit, right? So how is that free money? It's free money in the sense that your client who's getting the extensions pays for their own hair, right? So there's no investment other than them spending the time through a consultation, filling out the consultation form, and signing up and saying that they want this it the service from you. So 13 clients, $10,000 worth of hair. That sounds like a lot of money, I know, but each client on average is anywhere from $700 to $1,200 when it comes to hair extensions, especially when you're dealing with curly. Um, a curly hair extension client requires more hair than a straight hair client would any day because you've got to build out to the fluff of their natural hair. And like, you could see how full my hair is and it takes a lot of hair to actually make this happen. So, um, $10,000 is the amount of money that 13 clients on average will spend on their hair extensions, 13 clients. And if they're getting their move ups or their raises, this term becomes different throughout uh, every six weeks. On average, that client will spend $5,884.83 in a year span. So hear me out on this. This number comes from one, their first install, which typically you'll make after the cost of the hair as a stylist around $1,000 in service dollars for everything that needs to be done to that hair, right? You've got to color the hair, you charge the client for that. You have to root low light and customize the hair. Then you have to install the hair, that takes your time. There's the cut to blend, there's the styling and the finishing that goes on at the end. And all of that equates down into a number. And the number includes the cost of the hair and your time that you've spent on all of these services. I determined that usually this number is around $1,000. So from the first install, and let's just say that this client takes really good care of their hair and they're only replacing their hair one time per year. So a fresh install one time per year yields $1,000. After that, if the client is getting raises every six weeks and they have two rows of hair extensions in, each row is $225 to raise. And so that's $450. And each time they come in for a raise, typically they're getting their hair colored, which let's say is roughly anywhere. I pick the number 200 because most clients that get hair extensions have multidimensional colored hair. And maybe not every time it's going to require highlights, but if they're used to seeing some lightness throughout, they're going to actually want highlights around their face. They're going to get a toner. They're going to get a touch up. They're going to get a conditioning treatment. Like all these things I feel averaged out to around $200 per appointment for their color. So you've got the raise appointment, which is $450, $200 for their color services. And that is $650 in between their new installs every six weeks. For a client that you're going to see every six weeks, you're going to see them on an average seven times a year just for the extension services. 
So you've got the new install and then you've got the move ups or raises, whatever you call it. You'll see them seven times a year for that with their color. These clients may also come in in between for blowouts or a curly style. They may feel that they want to see you for a conditioning treatment and a style. Who knows, right? But this is just base average for a client that's getting a raise every six weeks with you. Um, and that's how I base my numbers. Now, some of your clients might be six weeks. Some of your clients might be eight weeks. You might be an eight to 10 week raise stylist, right? But we're going to base these numbers off of the clients that come and see you every six weeks for their extension. And in a perfect world, let's just say that that's what it is. So we have that number, $650 every six weeks. We have the fresh install at the beginning. So when I dive deep into these numbers and I say, sorry, if you can hear my dog barking, he's actually dreaming because he's laying at my feet under the table. He sounds so cute right now, but back to the clients. So you're going to see them seven times a year. And I also wanted to understand how many clients is it going to take to get to the dollar amount that you want to make every year in service dollars in the salon, because it's very important when you're growing, right? Like you want, I feel like this number really can help you out in overcoming the hurdle of what seems big and breaking it down into smaller, right? So like if you're like, oh, I want to be an extension specialist. How many clients do I need? How many days a week should I work behind the chair? I only want to do this amount of days behind the chair, but I want to make X amount. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how it is that you get to being that six figure stylist that everybody talks about really quick with in the extension world. So if you want to work two days behind the chair and you can do two clients a day, that's going to give you 24 clients in a six week span. How did I get that number? Two times two in a week is four times six is 24. So the six is the six week span, right? So two times two is four clients a week, four clients a week times six yields 24 clients in a six week span. And this will be important when we start talking about the really, really big numbers. If you wanted to work two days a week behind the chair, or I'm sorry, three days a week behind the chair, two clients a day, that's six clients a week, six clients times six week or six clients a week times six weeks yields 32 clients in a six week span. If you wanted to work four days a week behind the chair, do two clients a day, four times two is eight clients a week, eight clients a week times six weeks is 48 clients. Okay. So that would probably be your biggest, fullest book with extensions, 48 clients. Um, if you could kill it and hustle it and maybe two of those four days a week, you did three clients in a day. Great. But you are going to be tired. Extensions are a lot of work. Don't kid yourself just because it looks glamorous and easy on social media feeds. Extension clients are going to be your hardest clients, going to be your biggest brain fuck you could ever have. And they're going to challenge you the most because they're spending the most. So you're delivering top, top quality for a service that costs a lot of money, right? So it's only natural to think that that's going to be your hardest client or your hardest service to sell as well, because it is top dollar. And honestly, I probably shouldn't say hardest, but you're going to work more for that client because it's going to take more money to get that client into the door as your client. You can't just put one post out on social media and expect someone to say, yep, I'm looking to drop $3,500 on an install with you because your social media feed looks pretty. No, you've got to work a little bit more for that client. But now let's discuss this. Now, you know how many 
clients you can take in a six week span, depending on what type of schedule you're looking to work. So here goes the deep dive into the numbers. 13 clients a week with that $10,000 price tag on the initial investment with the hair, right? That is actually crazy enough, $80,000 in a year. If you can get 13 extension clients that spend anywhere from eight to $1,100 on their hair, and they come in to see you every six weeks, that will yield a service dollar amount of $80,000 in a, in a year. Now, here's the extra icing on the cake. If you are a curly haired specialist and you are doing curly extensions, there is an upcharge for curly. Number one, the hair costs more right out the gate. Um, number two, the cutting technique and the styling technique take longer and it's a niche service. So I'm gonna just base these numbers off the low end. Say for every curly extension install you had, you charge $350 extra for it. And like I said, that's on the low end. That's also gonna give you on those 13 clients on their fresh install when you're charging that, $4,500 more. 13 clients, what did we say? 13 clients is very minimal amount of clients that you're working on for hair extensions. Um, the two by two scenario yielded 24 clients in a six week span. So 13 clients is actually half that. If you were doing 16 clients under the numbers that we stated, the Everything from the thousand dollars on the first install that you're making that they're coming in and they're two row raise, two fifty or, or two twenty five a row, that's four hundred and fifty dollars for that, and then a two hundred dollar coloring service every six weeks, you are racking up a hundred thousand dollars in service dollars for the year on those sixteen clients only doing those services. If you were to add Curly to those 16 clients, it's $5,600 more within that year. Now I'm just gonna go through these numbers quickly. I'm not gonna repeat everything every time. So you up that number to 25 clients. 25 clients is actually just a little bit more than the two by two scenario at 24 clients, right? 25 clients a year at that six week move up appointment with the $200 coloring service yields $150,000 a year in service dollars. It's crazy. And in Curly, 25 clients that were Curly installs were $8,750 more within a year. And that's only saying they're getting fresh hair once a year. That's freaking insane money. Right, right there, fifty one hundred and fifty eight thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars worth of services services for twenty five extension clients that came in every six week for a two row raise and a two hundred dollar color. <laughs> That's crazy. Thirty two clients, thirty two clients. So we're jumping seven more clients. Thirty two clients is the two by three scenario that I discussed earlier working three days a week, two clients a day. And in six weeks, you're going to see 32 clients, 32 clients a year at that service value, right? Is $188,000 in services. Crazy. Now let's add on Curly to that. That's $11,200 on 32 clients getting new installs once a year, you added the bare minimum $350 for that curly install. Freaking guys, that is, let's see, let, let me do the math in my head because I'm a whiz at it. <laughs> that would be $192,200 on 32 extension clients. That's insane. 
Now let's take it to 35 clients. So 35 clients falls between the three days a week, two clients a day, and four days a week, two clients a day. 35 clients yields 205,000 service dollars. And if they all had one curly install a year that you added the 352, that's $12,250 more on top of that. So again, crazy. Now we've got to the 48 clients. This is where I said that your book was full, right? 48 clients. This has you working four days a week, doing two clients a day behind the chair and their extensions call for move ups or raises every six weeks, two rows at 225 a row and a $200 color service on there. Um, get this. Are you ready for this number? Because this is going to shock the shit out of you. 48 extension clients working four days a week, two clients a day, yield service dollars of $283,000. If those 48 clients were curly clients, that's an extra bonus of $16,800 a year. Okay. So the proof is in the numbers. That to me is in freaking insane. Insane. Okay. So let's look at this from a different light. Let's talk about this in simple terms. We all know that a dollar is worth a hundred pennies, or we could say it takes a hundred pennies to make a dollar, right? Um, simple. Do we carry around a hundred pennies? No, it's kind of inconvenient. It's heavy. People would kind of look at you like you're crazy because some people are just like, do they even make pennies anymore? The answer is yes, they actually do. But it's awkward to carry around, right? It's just heavy. It's a lot of weight. It's more work than if you were to carry four quarters around. Four quarters make a dollar as well. They're a lot less heavy. They're tighter and compact, right? We can just hold on to four quarters between our index finger and our thumb really easy, a hundred pennies, we would be holding in both of our hands with a lot of effort to keep it there, correct? Okay, so let's think of this in the terms of hair extensions and just being a hairstylist. Do you wanna do the work of a hundred pennies for a dollar or do you wanna do the work of four quarters for a dollar? I don't know about you, but in my mind, I would rather do four quarters to get to a dollar than I would a hundred pennies. And that's the difference, my friends, of doing hair extensions to get to the numbers you want to get to versus killing yourself and trying to find thousands of haircut clients to get to what it takes 48 hair extensions clients to get to. I think that's pretty crazy. Um, when you think of like a haircut costs, let's be generous and say that a hair costs, haircut costs a hundred dollars. Okay. So in the workflow of the two clients a day, two days a week, right? So two extension clients in one day is $650 is what we calculated, right? Um, just for their in-between appointments, not for a full extension install. $650 times two is $1,300. So you do two clients, you get $1,300. With a haircut at $100, you have to do 13 clients to get to $1,300 service dollars. Does that make it sense? Are you feeling what I'm throwing down here? Because I think that's pretty impressive. 13 clients with a haircut to get to $1,300 in a day, you'd have to freaking like, I mean, that's a lot of work. We all know that that's a lot of work. That's a lot of cutting, blow drying, you name it, right? So you do 
two extension clients and you make $1,300 getting two extension clients, I could tell you that the hours for the extension clients would be a two row raise. If you put your mind to it and you didn't have an assistant, that's the other beauty of this is like you can hire an assistant to work side by side with you and kill it with this because you can knock out half of your time if that person knows how to do the extensions, right? Of course, you're going to have to pay them. And that's going to, you know, dip into your bottom line a little bit. But um, it's not like the work of doing 13 haircuts in a day. I could tell you that. But, and if that's all you do, you get pretty darn fast at it and pretty efficient. So yeah. That's the craziness of hair extensions and my analogy of a hundred pennies for a dollar or four quarters. It takes 48 extension clients to fill up four days of work a week and have two clients a day and they get move ups every six weeks and on a full book of 48 extension clients for you. If that was your entire scenario, working four days a week, you're going to bring home $283,000 in service dollars. And if you charge $350 for Curly, because they get Curly installs, that's an extra $16,800 a year. That's insane. In total, if that was your book, 48 curly extension clients and those two numbers added yield $293,000. I think that's pretty crazy. But if that's what you want, first you got to get certified in hair extensions. <laughs> that's where I come into play. And we have our classes lining up for 2025 for the curl tour we are going to be offering install classes currently what is going to be on the schedule is what's going to be available in chicago at my salon adored salon we're actually in a suburb of the city, chicago and um that lineup will be released by the time this podcast is released and you will make your investment in your extension install class. And then there's also going to be the follow-up blueprint class to those extension classes, which there it teaches you how to specialize also in Curly so that you can widen your horizons with your ideal client and have the opportunity to upsell this service and create a specialized niche. Um, and there after that will also be a mentorship opportunity with me that helps you create this clientele within your salon. And it's like the baby steps of how I got started. But because I'm sharing that knowledge with you in these coaching programs, you're going to get there faster and you're going to go you're going to go further faster because you're going to have this pre-knowledge of everything that I did that helped make me a successful extension artist and specialize in curly. And yeah, so that's the awesomeness that's going to be taking place in 2025. We will have that schedule released, like I said, when this podcast release. So you will be able to tap a link below that'll take you there. In the meantime, let those numbers marinate. And if you're a student in hair school and you think that that's where you want to go, signing up is for you. If you're already a hairstylist and you're like, those numbers sound really freaking amazing to me. This is where I want my life to go. You can tap the link below to sign up for one of those classes. If you're a stylist and you want the curl tour to come to you, in 2025, you can send me an email at jennifer at adoredhairextensions.com and we can get that party started, start discussing what that looks like for you and your salon to have us come there 
be a host salon, or if you're a salon owner and you would like the same thing, it's an email to me. So let those numbers marinate. Understand why extensions can be a heavy investment on the front end, or at least it seems that way. But those classes, in order to get those kind of results, have to be really good. And you get what you pay for. So you want to have a good extension class in order to help you get to those desired numbers and work-life balance that you're dreaming about. And it starts with me. So I hope I see you in 2025. I hope those numbers really and truly just like set your soul on fire. I'm also going to link the specific Instagram post below that you can see those numbers in front of you on paper, if you want to write them down, copy them out of my post, whichever, but you could see how hair extensions can impact your life and how specializing in curly can too. So see you next week on the Curly Girls Obsessions. Mm -hmm.